Alrighty, folks, welcome to the broadcast. Got a good matchup for you. OTSL Silver League playoffs. It's going to be number two, Peter France versus number 18, Idian Gal. Um, Peter got the number two seed. He was 12 and two. Idian Gal uh, ended up getting seed 18 at 10 and four. I'm joined by Derek, also known as D Rock. How you doing, Derek? Great. How are you, Craig? I'm doing good. I feel like it's been a while since I got to broadcast a match, and uh, we should have a good one here. It's going to be the last one for round two. Uh, this is a best of three. Uh, so we got games one and two, and then if it goes to a game three, we have that one as well. So either a double header or a triple header for us here today. And let me get the game pulled up, and I don't want to spoil the game length, so let me run the video first. And then we'll hop into it. What do you know about either of these players, Derek? Uh, I haven't played Gideon before. Um, Peter, um, I know he uh, is in a lot of uh, Twitch streams and uh, following a lot of players. And we played him once as a team. And I think he beat us. But um, he's uh, definitely around uh, getting some good knowledge about Twilight Struggle. Now, Peter was the higher seed, like I mentioned earlier, I believe. So he selected to be USA. Game two, the flip sides. And if there's uh, game three, Peter will pick that side as well. Uh, three, four ops in his opening hand. So I'm sure he's happy about that. What are you thinking for a headline here, Derek? Uh, definitely looks like a Marshall plan set up to me. Yeah, not too much else here. Let's see if he does a 3-2-3-2 three, two, three, two, or a 3-3-2-2, three, three, two, two, though. Doesn't have sock gov, so I'd probably stick with the three two three two. And interest in Yidian put all his influence in Poland and Germany. What do you think about that? I've been seeing it a little more recently, and I'm still not sure my opinion of that. Me, I'm not a fan of it at all. Um, it puts less pressure on Italy, uh, so you could actually do a three three two two. Uh, but mm -hmm. he has Marshall, so it doesn't really matter. But like I said, I really like getting that influence into Austria or Yugoslavia to put a little bit more pressure on Italy. He's not going to be able to walk in there. I know he probably is doing Austria because he either has EU or Truman he plans to give up. Yeah, and like I feel like kind of the same way. Even if you did have Truman and EU, I, I just feel like you make it so much easier for the U.S. player mm -hmm. um, when you set up like this. Now, Vietnam doesn't get defectors, so he's going to get into Asia. Let's see if he drops Asia scoring immediately or, or just goes to take Thailand. I think majority of players like to drop Asia scoring if they have it in their hand. Yeah, that's typically what I do. Doesn't look like he's going to do that. Looks like he's probably just going to throw three into Thailand here. Let's see what Peter wants to do here on his first action round. He's got decoy in his hand. He's probably going to want to hold that. Uh, hopefully until turn three, but we'll see what happens. And I assume he wants to move out of Iran here. How do you feel about uh, what is your usual play if you don't see a coup from the USSR player? Yeah, definitely spreading out of Iran is um, important. Um, I usually try to get one in Afghanistan, maybe. But I wouldn't necessarily go to Pakistan right away. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, I, I immediately like to go for the battleground and go for Pakistan, put two in Pakistan. Malaysia, not as important because he's already got Thailand uh, shored up. So maybe putting that one op somewhere else or getting rid of the lower op cards in your hand. And saving and actually, your four now ops. 
Now that I think of it, Pakistan and then maybe putting one in the uh, Philippines to block the domination, at least temporarily. Mm -hmm. Okay, he's going to go oh, for a coup. Ugh. Not a fan of that, and he rolls a one, so it didn't matter, but... Now, Yidian has the option to coup Iran still and shore up West Asia as well. Well, DEFCON didn't drop, so Asia's, Western Asia's not necessarily locked up if he gets a good coup. Yeah, if he gets a good roll, five or six on a run, see what happens, so. Peter does keep his two four ups in his hand, though, which I like. Mm hmm. Okay, he's going to defer the coup and just shore up Iraq. Very safe play, but a strong play, getting presence in the Middle East. Yeah, so Union at this point, I'm pretty sure, doesn't have Asia. He probably would have dropped it right there if he had it. Yeah, for sure. All right, I like this. I mean, get Korean War out of there. Yeah. Secure the battleground. I don't want to hold maybe De Gaulle for the end of the turn in case you see blockade. Mm -hmm, definitely. Cambridge is going to be free, no scoring cards, but maybe you don't want to give up that information too early. And there's a big right, five. Our... Another four op card. So we got four of the four four ops gone. Four of the five, sorry. Mm -hmm. NATO does get triggered off Marshall Plan. So maybe one less on Iran, I would coup Iran back, but I think he's correct in spreading here. Yeah, it's tricky because he, I mean, if he rolls well, he might get some influence in there, but mm -hmm. and then Yidian's going to potentially coup back, and all he has to do is knock Peter out, and that's a win for him. So yeah, I agree with spreading over doing Iran back. Yeah, I think I would coup, if I was going to coup, I might have cooed Thailand. Not likely that you would get it, but... Worth a shot, maybe five or six. Alright, two monster oh coups so far. Five and a Yikes. six. Middle East looking scary, Asia looking scary. Defcon is three. Peter has one mil up. Yeah, well now I think... Oh, he might have to coup one of them now. Yeah, maybe a four-up coup into Iran. 50-50 to get one influence in there. Get your mill ops. A five or a six would be big here, for Peter. Yeah. Normally, I would say Egypt, just because uh, a zero helps, or a three helps you out too, but... Mm -hmm. Getting access to Western Asia. Well, he rolls a six. Dang, That's... both players rolling very hot. A six, five, yeah. six. <laughs> oh, very nice for yeah, Peter. Talking about odds and just roll a six. That's all yeah, you have to just do. rolled five or sixes and you'll be good. Mm -hmm. All right, so Thailand, France filled up very quickly on turn one, which is usually the case. If we see a D stall here. Defectors is already gone, so he's gonna be have a clear headline here for turn two. An early China card. Ooh. And Yidi I think Idian's uh, logic here is I mean you've seen four of the four four of the five four yeah. cards, so it's unlikely he's Why got not? the remaining one. Hey, Skaven, how you doing? Thanks for tuning in. Hasn't seen IP war. Seems a little bit weary about moving into Pakistan, but... Or maybe, yeah, one into Pakistan I think is good.
Could have thought maybe perhaps blocking him on country count for Asia. Going Indonesia, Philippines or something, perhaps, since he lost South Korea here. Yeah, but then all Gideon has to do is take South Korea here, which it looks like he's going to do. Yeah, he's going to get the bonus here. I think he resolved Gaul and uh, yeah, place definitely. four. At least two in France. And you got two that you can do whatever you want with. I like Algeria. Uh, can't block the domination in Asia. No. You... Hmm. I'm going to try and protect, I guess, from Sokovs and Suez by putting an extra one in France. Yeah, I mean, it's not a bad idea. I definitely like going into India. Peter's going to want to hope he draws the Asia card so maybe he can even it out. And he does. He also gets Sokov's D-Stall and D-Call. Okay. Has UN in his hand. Probably not going to be able to hold either D-Call or D-Stall since he blockaded, maybe evented to get rid of D-Stall back in the deck headlines I mean he's pretty much got stuck in cover I would think cover. yeah that makes your hand pretty crappy ops wise though with a scoring card and some red cards you don't want to event it does but I, I mean I think he's definitely playing China yeah with this hand so it takes six ops to take the three battlegrounds or you could take some sort of combination of battlegrounds and non-battlegrounds to get up your country count. Here is Suez. So that extra one in France pays off, at least makes it 3-1. Mm-hmm. See if he wants to press it, though. It looks He's like he does, to. so it seems to me he has Truman in his hand. I'd yeah, definitely there's no be worried way about do that, that. Without Truman, you have... And with the amount of four ops left, I mean, he's got the China card, he could just take France back here. Or he could just play ops here, but... I think this would be a battle you're probably going to lose if he throws another three op in here. Yeah, I, I might have just cooed there, just to get your mill ops. Well, you can't because of duck and cover. Oh, oh, never mind. Yeah, yeah. don't do that. You lose the game. <laughs> no extra oomph. <laughs> oh, and he's got the other four up. There it is. Yeah, France is going to fall. Right. It's going to be red. So just focus on evening up Asia. And call it a day. Yeah. Um, mm, I do not like this. No, 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 no. Yeah, rather, France, you have Asia in your hand, so you want to try to put your ops into there, and after this, I mean, you really have Fidel as your only ops. Truthfully, Europe, it's going to be really hard for Yidian to get domination there. So I, I would be fighting to prevent the domination in Asia. Yeah. Ooh, an early five-year plan. This does hit Nasser. I mean, I... Th would be kind so, of scary with Truman, <laughs> but he took the risk. Yeah, twenty-five percent uh, chance he would have hit Truman there. Wow, that's a gutsy play there. Got a lot of channel points on the line here. Almost ten thousand channel points, uh, all going for Idian Gal. I think most of those are for me. I basically used up all oh, my yeah. points. <laughs> all in. <laughs> <laughs> I need to get better channel point rewards. I haven't had time to set things up. I, I do not agree with Peter's line of play this turn. Like, Europe, yeah, it sucks to lose the nomination there, but I mean, it's going to be one VP for your opponent. But by not focusing on Asia at all, he's giving up the points over there. Yeah. 
Looks like I need to get one victory point there with Pakistan. Pretty surprising so far. We got 27 influence in France fighting over it hard there. I think this favors USSR though. Already have domination in Middle East and Asia. Mm -hmm. There's blockade. He's got sock ups for it though. Scoring card out of his hand. I'm. Maybe would have went for space there first, but... Yeah, space would have been better. He's going to lose out the CNS. Definitely would have been better. <laughs> Asia wasn't going to get much worse. Oh, he failed well, anyway. <laughs> Alright, turn three, here we come. USSR with the four victory point lead. A strong board. Yeah, gets both scoring cards and both yeah. one-op cards, but draws U.S. Japan for Truman, a Truman, though, is a nice headline, and just to point out, Yidian did not have Truman in his hand. Yeah. So, that was gutsy to really go for France there. I guess his logic there was thinking there's so many four-op cards gone that he may not fight me for France, and I could just take it outright, but risking losing it. If he had Truman, losing, though, if, yeah. yeah, if Peter had Truman, then oh, that would have been bad. I definitely feel like Truman should be his headline here. Yeah, nothing uh, he can do about it either. That's going to be a blue France for a while. And you're going to get the scoring card off, so it's going to be very helpful mm -hmm. for Peter. Ooh, nice redraw of decal. Probably three in Africa, one in Indonesia. Yep, that makes sense. Um, yeah. So he, he set up four or five, he didn't have EU or Truman. Yeah, I don't, I don't understand that. Interesting. It's going to be a weak Poland and weak East Germany because he's not going to get Comic Con or Warsaw yet. Mm -hmm. Have we seen special relationship? I can't remember. I don't believe so. Yeah. And that's going to be 2VP. He sends it to space. He spaces it, yeah. I like that. That was smart of Peter to make sure he filled UK right away. Yep. Rid of Middle East before Libya gets filled up. Peter ends up winning that battle in France here, so he's going to score the VP, which will be very nice. Pretty, that will be a pretty standard scoring. He do give up access card, uh, decal, and Vietnam, though. The, the first game that these two players met this season, they did not play in the regular season. They were in different divisions. Oh, and a redraw of oh, D-Stall. Oh, man. Uh, that's that's gonna, rough. It's going to make this board look quite red. Goes for a more aggressive That's uh, very D aggressive. See if he wants to take the four off real on. So now I think you're in a lot of trouble here if you're Peter. 
cruising out on the mid-war regions. I think maybe you take a shot at the realigns. I think you have just, to. Just getting them out of like Venezuela would really help a lot. And this really doesn't do a lot. I mean, assuming Union has three app, you could just take Venezuela and Panama and just ignore Colombia. Yeah, worst case, I mean, he's got the China card for four ops. Right. Thailand is sitting is. at two, but... Okay. Yeah, I just throw this four up right into Venezuela. Oh, oh. So, yeah. For sure I would have thrown U.S.-Japan into Venezuela there. I mean, you, you have four shots of the realign. Chances are you're going to knock them out of at least one of those battlegrounds. Yeah. The way it stands now, this looks really, really bad for Peter. Already overprotecting here. I would have rather seen those go into Brazil. Yeah, I agree. I don't think you need to overprotect quite yet. For Taiwan here. Uh, Indopac is in Indian's hand, correct? Yes. What he wants to do with the four up here. Breaking Mexico is kind of important here. Mexico. I don't like double breaking Venezuela, Mexico. No. I mean, you get a coup out of it, so maybe you can shore up Angola and Zaire, but. Really think throwing the four ops into Venezuela would have been good. Patrick mentioned uh, Malaysia, so you have access to potentially flip Thailand. Yes, I think for sure one into Malaysia. Are we going to realign now? Okay. Mexico, that was worth a good chunk of points there. Maybe there we go. Okay. Yeah, it does get them out. Thinking maybe it would have went Venezuela because it would have been even, but I mean, it does have three in there. Yeah. Yeah, I think. Oof. Look at all these four-op cards. Wow. Let's get ABM. Got We Will Bury You to protect from Missile Envy. It doesn't have to headline ABM. You could go rear guards here. Yeah, rear guards would be really annoying for Yidian. Yidian doesn't really have a, a coup target, though. <laughs> oh, good point. Actually, rear guards would give him one. Did he end up holding IP War? Did he play it? I, I don't remember. He held it. Urge is always strong. Rear guards. I think is strong getting one into Thailand and then getting three into Africa. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of going back and forth between Purge and Rear Guards. I think I like yeah. Rear Guards slightly better. He's going to get Quag, so Ooh. it is better that he purged.
if he just takes a coup of Iran or even do Algeria, I guess. Yeah. And I give Hard up three BP. That. One way to get rid of it. I definitely go Brazil here. Yeah. Okay. Well, understand Libya. Maybe he's has OPEC well, in his hand, but yeah, I mean, with um, when Sadat comes out, oh, that's at least one Bolivia true. Is all Does fail, so he has another. You get another back to back here. All right. Well, not too much you could have done. Uh, anyway, I mean, you could have walked into Afghanistan and broken Pakistan. Heard she may not have the ops to do that. Oh, oh. man. More bad news for Peter here. Coming up central. All right, well, at least he gets that from the second roll. Interesting, he stays away from Haiti or Nicaragua there with the one extra. I think I still prefer it. I mean, sure, you give up a coup to get a realign on Q, but you could realign right now anyway, at even. No, I, I kind of get that. I mean, he's... He's very ops poor this hand, most likely. He probably doesn't want to get into a coup war in one of those. So, I, I don't know. I, I kind of understand that. I don't like playing rear guards now. Not sure how much I like Cambodia, but definitely Thailand. I think I would have just put three in Africa, one Thailand. Yeah, I think he's he's trying to figure out if he could fight country count by breaking things, but unless he put it all in there, which would be a bad idea. I don't think he can do it. Yeah, I just think if he'll probably just give up Cambodia. I don't think he. I mean, if he's four for ops here. Got a four ops, so he's definitely not poor on ops. Well, overprotect against the China card and leave Cambodia open. But yeah, I think I, I would have preferred not to go Cambodia. Yeah. Could have got another battleground in Africa out of it. All right, well, perfect roll in Mexico. Yeah, that's going to lessen the blow for sure on Central America. All right, here's the war. Oof, another oh, Monster 6. Man. Flip it back. Got to do it now if he wants to do it. It worth giving up the China card? I mean, it's not going to change domination in Asia. Looks like he's going to zero in on Central America. Oh, man. A roll of one. Let's get away with free Nasser there. Getting it out before Sadat. Yeah. I don't know. I might have flipped Pakistan there. It, I know it doesn't immediately change domination, but... Mm -hmm. Still puts him in the hunt to block it. Empty ass nut. Prefer to keep flower power. Uh, yeah, I'd probably keep flower power. Being, I mean, IP war and Arab Israeli are both gone. Got brush yeah. war, but. Good choice. Unless you maybe wanted to fish for a blue card like OAS or something. Or, you know, another power card like Brush War. Yeah. It's only turn four, so... This is you wouldn't get something great. Probably get, like, Gunman or something.
Yeah, like maybe India, Saharan states. I yeah. guess if yeah, surrounding uh, Nigeria makes sense too. Yeah, I like Saharan states. He's got no adjacency uh, since mm. Truman was played to kick him out of France. Doesn't want to see Che in the headline here, though. No, that'd be bad. Especially probably hit Columbia, Saharan states. Would be quite good. Right. It's, uh, it's very good to see. Yeah, pretty good hand. Not great, but... Do see Junta, and that's always nice. If he does lead Junta, if he wants to go Brazil, Coup Brazil, wants to go Argentina, Coup Brazil, a lot more risky, but gives you access to Chile. I might even just go straight into Chile. Um, if you go into Argentina, he has Brush War, it's a Brush War target. Yeah, that is true. And you don't really have to worry about him taking Argentina right away because it's not adjacent to it. Taking a while thinking about the headline. I feel like Hunt is the obvious headline, but maybe where to put it isn't as obvious. Yeah. Oh, there is Oh, Jay. no. You jinxed him, Craig. Very bad to see that. Who's out on Colombia and Saharan states, likely? Changes his mind. I think that's better. Yeah, going Chile. You mentioned about brush war and then cooing Brazil. Roll that six one time. Not quite, yeah. but five to get influence. Here's <laughs> in the chat. He's saying it's taken him so long in the headline because he was a slow card tracker. <laughs> It'd be a, a strong tell if he does have South America. He would dump it immediately, but he doesn't. Yeah, yeah so he doesn't. <laughs> Patrick mentioned, need to get that presence in South America. Chile to protect against brush war. Yeah, Patrick does make a good point. Argentina does give you presence. So not knowing where South America is, that could have been very important. interesting events in his hand here um i would think he wants to event camp david and then event sadat yeah i agree hope i think poland is pretty weak right now still at three or four right uh i think with that comic-con i oh, think and, that put it at four oh yeah comic-con and then giving up warsaw so it's gonna be fine yeah. Definitely would like to see salt grab something from the bin. Maybe even hold salt. Hold salt, raise DEFCON to five, maybe. Yeah, it might be worth it. Nuke subs could be a pretty good draw to fix up Africa. Definitely want to get, a, get one into Zaire here. He doesn't want to get controlled. Southeast Asia. He's looks like he's pretty committed to holding on to the China card. Yeah. Trying to fight him on country count. Yeah, mouse over all the countries counting them. I mean, you didn't really only needs one more country to sew it up. I don't know. I, I still feel like flipping Pakistan 
might have been better. And you could at least even it up with the battlegrounds. Mm-hmm. Cultural's still out there. Usuri was spaced. He's got Nixon in his hand. Yeah, you could take it right back if you wanted to. Doors up Pakistan now. Gonna press uh, the gas on Africa here. Flip of Pakistan does break domination for Asia. Yeah, well, yeah. no, it um, wouldn't because if Formosan would go away. <laughs> right, right. And still need Japan. Zaire's looking pretty lonely. Yeah, he needs to put something in there. Now he goes for China. and Yeah, I think I would have rather seen Pope go in there. Yeah. Yeah, Patrick is right. I mean, the flip of Pakistan would have changed country count. Now they took all the Southeast Asia countries. Been 6-6, yeah. Does protect Zaire, though. Gonna want to hope for some kind of DEFCON degrader here in the headline, though, to protect Zaire. Brain cells, Cuban Missile Crisis, How I Learned Something. Yeah, brain cells would be ideal. Peter does have a realign of Pakistan now. DEFCON gets raised up with salt. That's true. And perhaps Cuba is a secondary target. Here does not have mill ops, so might want to take a crack at. Um... Yeah. Oh, he's playing salt now. I'm gonna make Defcon four with no mill ops here. Hmm. I mean, I th you gotta get perhaps ABM so you get mill ops, but then you lose out the missile envy. That's kind of scary. I mean, it's AR6, so if he did get ABM, he could take a crack at Pakistan with it. Yeah. But uh, he gets purge. You know, Indian's gotta worry about the real line of Pakistan. He could also make some kind of play here to Brit. Well, he's gonna get with oh. CIA, which is nice. Out of CIA. Gonna realign Pakistan? He is. Yeah, go for it. 50 50 basically and gets nice. it. And I think we'll see a coup of Zaire. Or maybe he wants to leave DEFCON high. Yeah, he might not coup here. I still think you take the coup of Zaire because I mean, I think your opponent's gonna coup anyway. Yeah. Not good enough with the two minus one from salt. Oop does battle on Nigeria and takes it. All right, VOA. That's some pretty good cards thus far. Just giving up those two access cards on turn three through the redraws, it's been a major factor so far for the board state. Anything exciting with VOA, it doesn't look too great. Want to get yeah. it back in the deck. I mean, maybe after Sadat, you could get Mount Libya, but... Yeah. Yeah, nothing... too uh, catastrophic for Adian. No scorecards in his hand, and there's still four out there, so... I 
stick with the original plan with Red Scare, which I agree with. You don't have Missile Envy in your hand, and you gotta be afraid of that. Yeah, definitely. I think, uh, be happy with not getting control. Well, you got Nigeria now, so. Ooh. Now the low numbers are coming out on the dice roll. Yeah. Yeah, did play a little bit adventurous there, headlining Africa. It could tell yeah, you but... that he has like maybe two or three scoring cards in his hand. Yeah, and I mean, here in the chat, same. He could have taken domination if he had line VOA, but I still think Purge is the right choice there. Yeah. I mean, I guess this hand isn't too bad if you get purged because you know, half your hand is events, I think. Yeah, yeah. But you just you don't want your opponent to have it. Willie's pretty much the only chat. candidate for space. Yeah. Max in the chat made a good point about VOA. You could have taken domination somewhere <clears throat> to steal the coup. Mm -hmm. I'm guessing South America. <clears throat> yeah some bad blue cards out there which could be in Yidian's hand brain cells OAS Panama, well Panama Canal doesn't matter but puppet governments yeah puppet at this point isn't too bad BP track starting to look a little bit scary especially with the potential shuffle coming up and he the only positive points you got right now are Alliance for three in Europe. Yeah, Peter's got to find something to do to get this score down to uh, War Games territory. Yeah, OPEC's still out there. Yeah. But I think Sadat and then VOA be pretty important here. Bell's space, so he's not going to be able to hop him and take that VP from him. At least not yet. Sadat should neutralize Middle East. You want to get that evented before OPEC. Not sure if we'll see a read, uh, a shuffle. Kind of card has been getting passed around, that's for sure. Yeah. yeah, I think you're right. I don't think there's a reshuffle at this point. Pass not, no cards were dumped to it. Omit was played for not the event. There's OPEC. A little late, but still worth four VP, which is. Very nice. Basically a domination. What are you thinking about VOA? You want to hold it or you want to try and just get it back in the deck? I would definitely want to get it back in the deck. Maybe you hold Nixon and play it next turn. Yeah, like you said, Libya, Tunisia, an option. Just attacking somewhere in Asia, which he thought about there for a second. North Korea, South Korea, two ops, or Thailand. No, I wouldn't play Nixon now. It was face up, but I don't know if he would have played it. Yeah, I don't think he would have. I haven't seen grain sales. 
Still spaceable though. Well, then under purge. Oh yeah, he is purged. I don't know if he has to take them all out of Asia. I definitely like setting up the Asia domination for next turn, though. Yeah. I like this better, taking two from H, North and South Korea. Thailand would have been easier to take, but target for brush war. Which is in... Yep, and is an opponent's oh, hand. We did get a reshuffle. Barely. At least South America. Is there anything Indian can do to break this as a domination in the headline? Well, with reshuffle, ABM is a possibility. Also, decal, I think. Country count? Nope, well, that decal. wouldn't work either. Not enough. And decal would be a redraw. Indo pack would be a redraw. Actually, do you deal to the Soviets first? Yes. Was there just so. one card? I can't remember. So South America... <laughs> it's been so long since I played a physical yeah. game of Twilight Struggle. Maybe it's US. It's possible South America is the only redrawn card. Doesn't have anything to Miss... UN, so he might hold it. Yeah, and Missile Envy here is. Well, Peter is card tracking. I wonder what that would get him. Because that could be good, too. Yeah, he knows he has Brush War. Right. He has OAS, but that doesn't matter for Missile Envy. Puppet Governments. I think, I feel like we've seen all the four ops. I'm not sure after all. Early war, when they got played again. Okay, well, they go for it. So, they have an idea of what this will get him. Mexico, I think, is worth the most points. Yeah. Uh, Argentina's good too, but oh, just missed. I wouldn't be able to get much there with the three. I don't even think there was any. See what he gets with Missile Envy, though. Oh, Alliance. Hmm. Not too bad. You get 3 VP. Yeah. Let's see if Idian uh, opts for the coup or opts to fix Asia. Record being updated. <laughs> Arms race was played, so it had to be a redraw. Yeah. I think he makes the right choice fixing Asia there. To take a crack at Brazil here? Yeah, you still have Shuttle, which you could event to get Asia domination, so you could take a crack at South America. Play it safe and get Angola.
You're mulling over his options here. Tough choice. He's going to take uh, risk Go Ooh, for South America. That was the option to take South China card, but I think uh, it would like to hold China. Yeah. Could get into an Sport. ops war and then a vent bear trap, but you have two scorings in your hand you gotta get rid of. Right. Place ops, looks like he's gonna go for it. Goes for Japan there. Cultural was played. Yeah, cultural's out. It was evented. Oh, he's going to get away with Asia. All right, so he, he was doing a good job of card tracking then. Mm -hmm. He knew what... Brain cells, OAS. Not sure if the other two were known. I think at least one was. Yeah. Now he doesn't have to commit All shuttle right. to Asia, though. Nice. Well, well played by Peter there. Yeah, I was thinking he'd just throw a three into South Korea and then... Oh, Puppet is out there, too. Yeah, that was another known one. You work on Central here and put two in, well, Nicaragua, Haiti, and then one somewhere else. You put one in Uruguay because you might be getting OAS. Maybe there's a slight chance you could get South Africa nomination. Seven war games territory. Dumping south here. I like that he's fighting for it. You know he has OAS. Yeah. You know he has um what else do we know he has? You know he had grains and puppets and played. Yeah, those are gone. Oh, summit. All right. For the real line, very interesting. Misses out. Oh, then it's his only shot. Yeah. <laughs> Five year plane. I thought that was played already. Yeah, you think he played on turn two for that Truman, yeah. Yeah. So I like this. This really shows like card tracking it. Like you can get by without doing it, but there are some games like this where knowing his entire hand... Yeah, turn three and seven really is really helps. important for card tracking. Yeah. It helps a lot. You just take Uruguay here. Worried about getting poked in Uruguay? Hmm. More China card stealers out there. All three are gone. Come away with the domination. So great break there, Brazil. Maybe it was worth taking the 50 50 with five year plan <laughs> when he had Summit in his hand. Oh, good point.
And even with him hitting OAS, at least you have three ops to respond to OAS. In Brazil, then. Critical player scoring card. Now he's out of War Games territory. Turn eight, here we go. the turnarounds. I think you go nuclear subs here. And lay waste to Angola. Mm. All could be. Good as well. Six. Would we'll drop yeah, the no. one and four. That enable no, solidarity. No. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna headline the Pope. All right. Ooh. Run into ABM now. Wants to take another coup. Zaire gives him domination in Africa. He has a four up he could take Brazil and Mexico though. I mean he has China, so it definitely has one. South Korea is also important, but not right now since Asia was scored. Well, there's a four up. Also scored. Oh we're going heavy. Yeah, he's, he, he might have central. central <laughs> Not a lot Peter can do about it here. And you could take a coup, but got a roll high here. Yeah, it's tough. Yeah, six really gets it for you. Three does not do it. Let's force him to play ops again, so. It's going to give him the first shot at space if he wants it. So Brazil needs one v, uh, one more in there. Brazil needs 2 VP to block domination in the Middle East. 2 opera into Mexico. Screaming central scoring here. Yeah. Again, not a lot can be done about it. Not two ops, but three lines on Cuba and middle Mexico are even, but I mean, you can just walk back in. I don't hate eventing nuclear subs at this point. Giving up central, then which here it goes. Yeah. So know. maybe you get Africa out of it and hope he doesn't have war games. Yeah. Not for Angola, but three or four up could take it from him. There is war oh, games. There we go. Idian gets the first game over Peter. We'll hop into a game two here. That was a pretty short one. They played fast, got the turn eight only about an hour long. So I think we'll just hop right into the next one.